In this video, you will learn about graphing on the coordinate plane. Look at the orange point. How could I describe its location on the screen? I could say it's sort of towards the top and towards the right, but that would describe a lot of other points as well. I want to be more precise. Let's add these lines to break the screen into four sections, or quadrants. Now I can say the point is in the top right quadrant and that it's closer to the horizontal line than the vertical line, but there are still a lot of points that that could describe. Hmm. What if I add a grid? Now I can use the grid to help me tell where the point is. I can say that the point is one space above the horizontal line and four spaces to the right of the vertical line. It's the only point located there. We found a way to describe the point's location very precisely. In geometry, a grid like this is called a coordinate plane. We use it to describe locations so precisely that only one point fits the description. Coordinate planes have some important parts with special names. The two lines are called the axes. The axes are lines, not line segments, because we need to show that the grid could keep going on forever in every direction. So they always have arrows at the ends. The horizontal axis is called the x-axis. The vertical axis is called the y-axis. When we describe a location, we always start counting from the place where the two axes cross. Because this is the point where we start counting, it is called the origin. Think of the word original. It's like your original location you're starting from. We label the origin zero, and then we count out from there to label the rest of the grid lines, like a number line. Usually we count by ones, but sometimes we skip count by another number, like twos or tens. Even though we write the other numbers twice, one on the x-axis and once on the y-axis, we only write zero once, because there's only one place where the axes meet. Axes, origin, and labels, those are the parts of the coordinate plane. Let's see how mathematicians use it to describe locations. We're going to look at just the top right quadrant of the grid. To describe the location of a point, write an ordered pair telling the x and y coordinates. First, tell the x-coordinate, or how many units to the right of the origin the point is located. Imagine starting at the origin and walking along the x-axis until you reach the point. You would walk one, two, three, four spaces. So, the x-coordinate is four, which means it is four units to the right of the origin. Next, tell the y-coordinate, or how many units above the origin it is located. How many spaces up do you need to walk to reach the point? Just one. So the y-coordinate is one, which means it is one unit above the origin. The ordered pair for this point is four, one. An ordered pair is always written in parentheses, it always has a comma between the coordinates, and the x-coordinate is always written first. Here's a larger grid with more points. What are the coordinates for each point? We need to write ordered pairs. Remember to find the x-coordinate first. Point A is one space to the right of the origin and nine spaces up. Its ordered pair is one nine. Point B is three spaces to the right of the origin and five spaces up. Its ordered pair is three five. Point C is five spaces to the right of the origin and three spaces up. Its ordered pair is five three. Notice that B and C use the same numbers in their coordinates, 5 and 3, but in the opposite order. That's why it's important to always write the x-coordinate first. If we write it backwards, we could get our points mixed up. Point D is two spaces to the right of the origin, but it is right on the axis. We don't need to go up at all. So, we say the y-coordinate is 0. The ordered pair is 2, 0. One last problem. Plot point T at 4, 3. Since the x-coordinate is always written first, we know we need to go four units along the x-axis. Start at the origin and count over four. The y-coordinate is three, so count up three. Place the point here, where the grid lines cross. Label it T. In this video, you have learned the parts of the coordinate plane, how to use it to describe the locations of points, and how to graph your own points. Thanks for watching!